What's up, guys? It is Wednesday morning, and got a handful of orders to ship out. Let's get to work. All right, I sold a toy. This is a meat card launch rail. Um, I paid a buck or two for this. These really weren't a great buy. They've been taking forever to sell. Uh, somebody sent me an offer for $11 free shipping on this one, and I took it. I sold the Petite Four pastry tins. Got a bunch of hats in here. These are pretty cool. I've never seen these before. I got them at a garage sale a couple months ago. So I looked them up to see what they were and saw they had a little bit of value to them. I paid five bucks. I had them listed for a pretty long time, right around like $40 or so. Somebody sent me an offer of $24 plus shipping and I accepted. Sold a DVD set. Westworld season one. Uh, this is part of the bulk buy I made about a month ago. So I might have a buck or two into this. Sold for $10.49 free shipping. And this is actually a pretty good show. If you guys have never seen it, check it out. Sold a video game. Actually, saw a couple games out of here. The first is Spyro the Dragon for PS1. Um, this is part of that bulk buy I just made uh, last weekend at a garage show. So I got like 50 cents into this. It sold for $11.99 free shipping. Also in that tote, this uh, F22 game. Uh, this sold for $7.99 free shipping. This is going to the viewer named Tom. Tom, thank you so much for the support. I appreciate it. I sold a jacket. I got this at a church sale probably two or three months ago. It caught my eye because it just felt like it was a really good quality. The brand is Caribou by Briarcliff. I listed it for $50 or best offer. Somebody sent me best offer of $44.99 plus shipping, and I took it. Sold two seasons of Midsummer Murders on DVD, and they're going to the same buyer. The first is set 13 right here. That sold for $8.99 free shipping. And they also bought set 14 for $9.99 free shipping. All right, the next order has three items in it. First of which is here in D3. This is a digital derby raceway. Uh, it's like a 1970s toy. Fortunately, it did not work. So I just had to sell it for parts. It sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Next is a diecast car. It's a Dale Earnhardt Jr. This is part of that big bulk buy of diecast cars I got. So I've got about seven bucks into this. It sold for $19.99. And one more diecast car in that order. It is a Tony Stewart. There it is. Uh, this also sold for $19.99. The buyer paid shipping on each of those items, so I'll make sure to refund the difference of what it actually costs when I just combine it all in one box. And it's a viewer that bought all that, named Dennis, who's bought for me before. Dennis, thank you so much for the continued business. It means a lot. Two things sold in storage that we're pulling out. First is a charger for a camera, it's a Panasonic charger. Uh, this sold for $11.99, free shipping. Next is a NASCAR jacket. Got this in a garage for $7, it sold for $29.99 plus shipping. I just picked up a huge lot of video games last weekend and I pulled out the ones that I thought were gonna sell for around like $10 or more and I listed all those and I'm left with these. So I think I've got a little over 30 games here. It's um. Xbox, PlayStation, Wii, just a big variety. So I think I'm gonna do an auction lot for these and also these Atari games because I really didn't see any that were, you know, worth more than four or five bucks each. So I think I'm better off just uh, running an auction for them. If you guys have never done auctions, I'd like to do them occasionally. Um, what I do is I typically start them at a dollar I make sure that they end at night, maybe around like eight or nine o'clock, that way I get a lot of eyes on it. And I usually only do it for things that there's a very high demand for. And also, there's not an easy way to determine a value. So with all these games, you know, in a big lot, it's kind of tough to put an exact price on it. So I'm gonna put them both up for auction and see what happens. Got a handful of things going out the door today. And first is this Canon printer. I picked this up last weekend for 30 bucks. I listed it for 230. Somebody sent me a message uh, offering 200 plus shipping and I took it. Sold a real tree hat. Got a lot of hats in here. Here it is. I picked this up for a couple bucks. It sold for 14.99 free shipping. I sold two pennants. One is this Phoenix Roadrunners and the other is this Phoenix Giants. A viewer reached out to me about buying both of them, so I made a deal 
for $70 plus shipping for the pair. And they're going out to Cynthia. Cynthia, thanks for the support. I appreciate it. Sold a camera lens. This is a ProMaster, really nothing special. Um, I've had it about four or five months. It was just part of a bulk buy I did. It sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Sold one of the DVD sets that I just picked up. Midsummer Murder, set 12. Um, paid two bucks for this. It sold for $11.99 free shipping. Sold a Cincinnati Reds mug. Had this listed for like 19 or best offer. I took a best offer of $13. And the guy actually lives like right down the road from me. So I'm going to take this over to him today. Friday afternoon, I'm back from hitting some garage sales and I've got some stuff to ship out. Sold a couple more humidifiers. Um, I think I'm finally down to like one more of these and then I'm done with them. Just happy to put this bad buy behind me. Um, they each sold for $12.99 plus shipping. Sold a couple of these decorative houses. This is the Hennessy Fire Company. I had a bunch of these at a garage sale um, for like $3 each or so. Um, this one, I took a bus out for a $15 plus shipping. Same buyer also bought this one. Uh, they sent a best offer of $10 plus shipping. Those are both going out to a viewer named Drew, known as the Sunshine State Picker on YouTube. Drew, thanks for the support, man. That means a lot. I sold this disc repair machine. Uh, this is part of the bulk buy I just made uh, for $5.25. I tested this thing out, it works great. And it sold for $69.99 plus shipping. Sold a video game. Uh, Splinter Cell. It's the Steel Book Edition. Here it is. I'm into this for 50 cents. It was part of that big book buy of video games I just made. This sold for $11.99 free shipping. So a diecast car out of B6. Here it is. Dale Earnhardt Jr. This sold for $19.99 plus shipping. And I sold a toy out of the bin I'm actually working out of right now. It is this Me Card launch rail. This sold for $11.99, free shipping. I had a question I wanted to answer. This is a YouTube comment from Yadala PS. They ask, I've always wondered how you stock your items. I see the bins with designations like D3, D6, etc. What type of system are you using? I'm really bad with the organization. Any guidance you can give is greatly appreciated. Okay, so you guys have seen my bins. They're all alphanumeric. So what I do is I have big rolling racks and each rack has six bins and then there's space on top for like, you know, bigger awkward items. I don't categorize my items. I just fill a bin with random stuff and try to maximize the space as best I can. And I put that bin in the listing so that when it sells, I know how to find it. I didn't always do that. I used to just have stuff on racks and I'd have to go dig and find it when it sold. And I lost stuff constantly. Like once a month I would lose something and it just drove me crazy. So I finally got organized. I don't know that my system is necessarily the best, but it just works for me. So if you don't have some kind of inventory system and like a SKU system, I would highly recommend getting something just so that you don't lose items or you know, you're maximizing your space a little bit better. I haven't been updating you guys on my listings lately because I haven't really been doing that many of them. Um, I got sick a week or so ago and that knocked me out for a few days and I've just been busy with a lot of family stuff. But it is the end of the week and I'm gonna update you guys on where I'm at. Okay, this week was a little bit better than uh, the previous weeks. Um, did 24 Monday, 9 Tuesday, 12 Wednesday, 6 on Thursday and Friday. Grand total of 57 listings for 1631. And my listings are way down. I've had a lot of sales and just haven't been listing a whole lot. So active listings are down to 592. So I'm going to kick it in gear next week and try to knock out 100 listings. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.